الحمد لله وكفى وسلام على عباده الذين اصطفى اما بعد we welcome everyone back to our daily uh, reflections now today we'll go over uh, again briefly surah yunus surah hud and we'll start surah yusuf as well inshallah so in surah yunus uh, there's 109 ayahs and it was revealed in mecca the main subject matter here is the invitation to islam most of the surahs that you know that are coming now has to do with invitation of islam and allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has made this scripture a book of wisdom this quran and it's a favor that he delivered that message of wahi through the medium of man from you know from mankind itself that allah subhanahu wa ta'ala did not send uh, an angel to bring down this message to the people rather he sent uh, people uh, you know chosen people from amongst the people to spread this message of islam and this you know this wisdom from allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and yet, yet instead of taking benefit from it the not, disbelievers they turn away saying that this is the ill effect of sorcery they feel akana lin nasi ajaban wa wahina ila rajulin minhum an anzir an nasa an anzir an nasa qad masadaka inda rabbim qala al kafiruna inna hadha la sahirun mubin that they say the kafirs the non believers they they say that this is a sahir this is you know this is magic this is sorcery That says right in the beginning of the surah. أَكَانَ لِلنَّاسِ عَجَبًا أَنَّ وَحِينَ إِلَى رَجُلٍ مِّنْهُمْ أَنَ أَنْذِرِ النَّاسَ وَشِّ الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا أَنَّ لَهُمْ قَدَمَ صِدْقًا إِنْدَ رَبِّهِمْ قَالَ الْكَافِرُونَ إِنَّ هَذَا لَسَاحِرُ مُّهِمْ Now, then they, what they say is that the acceptance of the divine message, yet they, they refute it. And yet when adversities afflict them, when something happens bad, what did they do? They, they go back to the same Lord. And they, they go to the divine assistance. But once this adversity adversity goes away again they go back to the same thing. Allah Subhanahu mentions this also. Wa idha massa al-insana durrun da'ana li jambihi aw qa'idan aw qa'ima falamma kashafna anhu durrahu marra fa an lam yad'una ila durrin massa kadhalika zuyyina lil musrifina ma kanu ya'malun. That when something afflicts them they return and they come and they ask Allah. But when this this problem is gone now they have nothing to do with Allah. Now, this is something that uh, unfortunately we also, sometimes we face in our day and, ta- day and age. That we know when we need Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we turn to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And when we don't need Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we turn away. So this is something that we have to be very careful about that, you know, we have to turn to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala at all times. You know, في الصراء والضراء All the time. And Then also Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying that the life of the world which has beguiled you in deceitful you is deceitful. Let, let it not turn you away from submitting to the divine message. That this, this, this thing that you are running after is deceitful. This dunya that you're running after and you're in, in the process you're denying Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala this is something that will end. So don't, don't, you know, don't be foolish. Now the kuffar, they believe Allah to be a creator, sustainer and administrator of the world. Yet, they turn themselves away from practicing on his commandments. Because if you, if you ask them, قُلْ مَا يَرْزُقُكُمْ مِنَ السَّمَاءِ وَالْأَرْضِ أَمَّا يَمْلِكُ السَّمَاءِ وَالْأَبْصَارَ وَمَا يُخْرُجُ الْحَيَّ مِنَ الْمَيِّتِ وَيُخْرُجُ الْمَيِّتِ مِنَ الْحَيِّ وَمَا يُدَبِّرُ الْأَمْرِ You ask them, now who's the one who owns, you know, The, 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 the seeing and the hearing you know who's the one who does all this and who's the one gives life takes out life from death dead and the dead from the life from the living and who, who controls everything they will say Allah they will say it's Allah so then what's what's the issue this is your Allah but you know that, that's the problem with them they know but they would deny 
while they themselves make allegations against the Quran that it is fake. They would say that this, this Quran is, is fake. But they see proofs from the Quran. How can these kuffar understand the Quran and Hakim when they are spiritually blind and deaf? Allah SWT talks about that also. That these people, they listen to you, but how can you make them listen if they're deaf? They look at you, you know, but in, in reality, they're blind. Spiritually, they're blind. So, this is also mentioned here. Then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala also mentions that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is fully aware of our Quran recitation as well as our other actions in life. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows what are we doing exactly. He's aware. He's not, you know, unaware. He knows everything and He will reward everybody according to their, you know, achievements, what they have achieved in this world. The righteous ones will not fear to appear in the high court of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. One should not grief, one should not be grief stricken by the abusive language of the and an antagonist of Islam of Deen, people who are against us, people who don't like you know this is this is again, it it applies to us now, that you know people there will be there will be uh, opposition there will be you know trials and tribulations but we cannot let that affect our 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 uh, efforts, and we have to continue to believe in Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. Now Allah SWT also talks about that beautifully he says the friends of Allah the ones who rely on Allah SWT they have nothing to fear they will not be grief stricken it's fine, it's okay you got Allah you got Allah on your side so there's no worry then Allah SWT starts talking about Nuh alayhi salatu salam and what happened and how he, you know, this the story of Nuh alayhi salam it comes again over and over just like Musa alayhi salatu Obviously, Musa alayhi salatu salam story comes much more often, but Nuh alayhi salam story will come in Surah Yunus, Surah Al Hud, you know, it, it, it comes over and over because they all did the same thing. They, they invited people towards the oneness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, but yet, you know, people turned them away. So, you know, the whole story is mentioned here in this surah. And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala also says that all those addressed by the Quran, do not doubt it. Don't doubt what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is telling you in the Quran. There's no doubt in here. Right in the beginning, right? We read in Surah Baqarah that there's no, there's no doubt in this book. Right? So, those people who still have doubt, Allah SWT says, فَإِن كُنْتَ فِي شَكِّ مِمَّا أَنزَلْنَا إِلَيْكَ فَاسَلِ الَّذِينَ يَقْرَوْنَ كِتَابًا مِنْ قَبْلِكَ لَقَدْ جَاءَكَ الْحَكُمْ مِنْ رَبِّكَ فَلَا تَكُونَنَّ مِنَ الْمُمْتَرِينَ If you have any doubt, then speak to those who have, you know, uh, the, they, have, they have knowledge of the books prior to Qur'an. They will, they will, assure, they will affirm, you, affirm to you that this is the, the true revelation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Then Allah SWT talks about also Musa alayhi salatu wasalam and his struggles. Again, you know what happened with him and Fir'aun. It is also again mentioned here that Summa Basna min Badihim Musa wa Haruna ila Fir'aun wa Malaihi bi ayatin a fast takbur wa kanu kama mujrimin. The whole story of Musa alayhi salatu wasalam with Harun alayhi salatu wasalam and Fir'aun. Uh, you know, he called the magicians and he told them, you know, if Musa has, you know, this asa and this you know becomes snake and they also threw their ropes you know we know the story so all this is also mentioned here in detail and then Allah SWT also says oh people you know uh, oh, th before that he says otherwise you know if you if you if you dismiss this as doubt the Quran as doubt and otherwise your resurrection will be the same as the, the ones the past disbelievers So don't dismiss it as a doubt. You know, this is not a doubt. This this Quran is is, is true, it's haq. Also, O oh people, we are not prepared to abandon our way of truth merely on the basis of your doubts. He who accepts the Quran will benefit himself, otherwise the misfortune of his negation will be incumbent on him. Then you know if we we just start 
you know, doubting this this book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, then eventually will will you know this will be a misfortune for us. So that is as far as Surah Yunus. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us the right understanding. Wa akhir da'wana alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen.